Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through the project planner. Please excuse this video because I'm doing it on my phone because I want to do this really quickly because I'm dying to write in the planner. So the cover is going to be personalised. Now this needs fixing because I did not plan this very well. And this bottom and the top is going to be totally full of crosses, don't worry. Um, this is why I did a test one first. So, oh, before we open it, so open to page one. There's that lovely little quote in that I just love. You were created to create. So that's all blank, first few pages. And then we start straight in with your yearly goals. <clears throat> you can write six goals for each month. Let's be honest, they're probably not going to get more than six things stitched a month, are we? <laughs> and then you can start mind mapping some ideas. Now I was going to put this before the yearly goals, but I thought that you want your first few pages to be nice and neat and this is going to be all scribbly, <laughs> which leads nicely on to, so it's a few pages there and then you have your sketches and scribbles. So you can do more mind maps here or sketch some ideas out, sketch some little designs. So again, there's a few pages of that, quite a lot of pages, <laughs> oh, let's see, oh some more, and then our X's and squares. So this is a 100 by 100 grid, now I'm just going to grab my ruler actually and just see what count this works out as, so you can do this, so if you get an inch, I have candle wax on my ruler, let's so this is literally just in between um 14 and 16 count what it would be like in real life so if you pop a hoop on let me grab one oh can you hear all that noise if you popped a four inch hoop on there and the design fits in, it will probably fit on 14 count either or 16 count either. So that makes that quite easy for you. So if you design any little motifs or patterns in there, um, they'll be pretty true to size. I should have measured that before I did this video. I've just wasted so much time, sorry. <laughs> so there's quite a lot of squares. This came of the request of Amy, who tested the planner for me. Said she quite likes drawing on the squares. So I put quite a few in there, a few grids. And then we start with our monthly planning. So here's January. So you can rewrite those project goals out. Any more ideas you have, notes, and your daydreams. Now you might notice the spacing on these lines are quite large, but I write in quite thick pen. Let me just write and I'm going to show you. So this is my pen that I use. So I'm just going to write Hannah. Now this is my handwriting and it's quite large. So when I'm writing on lines that are really close together, my writing looks so untidy. So I left those lines, those spaces really big. Okay, so that goes all the way through. Just the same all the way to December if we can get to it. So there's December and then we go into pattern planning so you've got space to write your pattern name the designer name all the fabric here type color count your thread so you can write your color here the number key here for it and then the pattern size fabric size hoop or your frame size your needle size <laughs> everything that you about your pattern you can write a shopping list of anything you might need to buy and then the breakdown so you can write the date you want to start and aiming to finish and your prox hours to stitch if you know how many stitches you stitch per minute or five minutes or whatever and then if you're you want to jot down how long it actually takes you this comes in handy for when you're pricing finished pieces you can price them according to how long it takes you so you're actually getting paid for your time or if you're just a hobby stitcher then it's just good to know how long something takes you if you want to recreate it again. There are loads of these pages. Most of the planner is all these pages. Like we're only halfway through if you can see down there. 
so there's just loads and loads of these pages because that is really what the plan is for pattern breakdown <laughs> more pattern breakdowns I just keep going through as you can see i'm going through quite a big chunk here all pattern breakdowns and pattern planning so this should definitely last you a full year if not more so this leads nicely onto my next point in the back i have done this however this is going to be lighter i think this is too pink to write on i'm going to lighten that up and i have left everything on well not undated but kind of undated i've not put any days of the week on for which date so then you can use this planner whenever you want it doesn't have to go january to january or september to september you can buy it whenever through the year and still get a full year's worth out of it. Like I said, maybe even more because there's so many pattern planning sheets in there. So this is near the end of the planner now. May, June. I've literally showed you the whole planner. I don't know if this is what you're meant to do, but oh well. <laughs> Marketers would probably say keep a little bit secret. But I like to know what I'm getting when I'm buying a planner. So that's the end. There we go. So these are going to be up for sale very, very soon. I love my planner and I cannot wait to get writing in it, which I'm going to start doing right now. Like I said, that cover will be fixed and they're going to be personalised or they will be a bit cheaper if you don't want them personalised. And I'm going to be doing a few more cover options as well, but this is my favourite. <laughs> okay, so I hope you like the planner as much as me and I will see you soon.